Let us sing praises to the Lord together. Please rise if you would.
Before your work MA will start to develop. Now is the time for your preparation. Give thanks for all things. Do not turn back. Do not turn back once you step out by faith, obeying me. The Lord is the one who will break down the walls which are behind before you. Let us praise the Lord from the bottom of our heart. Heavenly Father, we praise your name. Thank you for this time of praise and worship. Thank you for the words of prophecy. Please bless the rest of the wor this worship service. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, let us spend some time in prayer. Let us quiet ourselves before the Lord and pray individually. We pray these prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, let us continue to sing together.
Now let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. The Lord's Prayer, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but give us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, now, Pastor Paul Akimoto will lead our communion service. We're going to hold a communion service. Holy Communion is to proclaim the death of Jesus Christ. In our church, we recommend you to take part in Holy Communion. If you believe, if you believe in Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and have been baptized or are planning to be baptized in the near future, if, even if you do not belong to this church, and uh, if you're attending this worship service over the internet and wish to take part in Holy Communion, please prepare bread, wine, and grape juice yourselves. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, please bless this wine, bread, and grape juice and reveal the grace of your body and blood in each one of us. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, if you have sins to confess, please do it now. We pray these prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body. Let us partake of the body of Christ together. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many, he said to them. Let us partake of the blood of Christ together.
Heavenly Father, we thank you for the grace of Holy Communion. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. After having taken part in a Holy Communion, let us give thanks and offerings to the Lord together. And while the collection bags are being passed around, let us sing, seek ye first the kingdom of God together. Now let us pray for these offerings. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these offerings. We offer you a part of what you had given us. Please cleanse them and use them for the work of your kingdom. And please pour down your blessings upon each one of those who made these offerings. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, will you please open your Bible to today's scripture verse? Today's scripture verse is Psalm 103, verses 3 to 5. Psalm 103, verses 5, 4, and 3, 4, and 5. Sorry. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from a pit and crowns you with love and compassion? Who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? From this scripture verse, Pastor Paul Akimoto will deliver a message after a special praise song at the congregational worship, praise and worship, led by Pastor Akimoto. Good morning. We are come and worship. We will sing the sound of a wind. You're the kind of 
ませ街の飛んでた収穫の時喜びながらかりとろう今リバイバルがこの地の上に風の響きが天から下り思いなる神の栄光全地に光輝き渡る Please rise if you would. Psalm 53.
put my word in your mouth. Keep on speaking. I will use it and reveal my abounding glory. This year, I will allow many problems to happen to you, but behind them I have plans, and I have plans for my miracles. Therefore, trust my word and step out by faith. Stand upon my way and accomplish my way. Do not turn back. Upon that way, you will be blessed. You will see my glory and miracles. Each of the problems will turn into my victory. Each of the hardship will, will be turned into my glory. You will see that my miracle will be evident. You will praise me for that. I will reveal my work further, and I will let you taste uh, heaven in advance. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the words of prophecy. We thank you for the special praise and worship. We are about to learn from your word. Living God, please talk to us and guide us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Good morning, everyone. And to you who are attending this worship service over the internet, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. What today in the evening? Reverend Rai will give us a seminar on Snergoi. Please look forward to that and come and join us. And we received a letter from Taiwan, a letter of thanks from Taiwan. We learned that uh, God uh, did a lot of uh, work there in that country. And uh, Sister Sally got in touch with us. She will, uh, she will appear. Uh, she will appear on a radio program, and she's been uh, introducing uh, my book on prophecy. And as uh, Sister Sally talks a lot about it, the person who is responsible for that program asked Sister Sally to bring me when I visit Europe. And at the same time, he wants me to minister at the church where he belongs. God has been using Sister Sally in a great manner. And God's work had started to spread in Europe. 
っと、それとともにですね、まあ、あの先日も述べましたけど、教会、As I said the other day, church, there is special grace in God's church. It means a local church. And、uh, at the same time, online attendance. It can also mean a part of the church. The, 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 evangel the evangelism through TV cannot form a church. A church needs、uh, baptism and holy communion. So, when you attend church or when you attend church online, you become a part of the church according to the Word of God. According to the Word of Prophecy, Our online church will become、uh, big. So we need to understand that、uh, here we are church, and at the same time, online attendance and form a church too. <laughs> But of course, if you can come to church, do come, please. By not coming to church, you will lose a part of God's blessings. Well, up till a certain time, I didn't put much importance, I didn't put much emphasis on the church. But through the word of prophecy, God told me that the church has a special grace of God. And after that, I went to. I went to the church of、uh, Reverend Robert Ewing, and there I learned more about church. The other day, when I was watching a blog, a blog Pastor Nagato was saying that、uh, he wanted to、uh, fix.、Uh, A certain electric appliance, but、uh, he wasn't able to. And yet,、uh, in the past,、uh, it was his speciality, but now his speciality is、uh, spiritual things. He remained in church no matter what happened. He just stayed in church. And all the elders, all our elders are the people who just remained in church. They just stayed in church. They weren't, they were nobody special. There were some special people in our church, talented, competent people. But because they didn't stay in church, now, They're not here anymore. Talking about the work of praise and worship. Now,、uh, many young people are actively engaged in this work. And、uh, 
If、uh, they have a hit song, they will,、uh, it will become a breakthrough and they will become popular even in this world. But these were the people who stayed in church. There used to be some people who were much talented in music, but because they left church, well, it may be God's will for them to leave our church, but because this gift of praise and worship was given to our church, and as they left our church, they're not engaged in this kind of work anymore. Well, I'm saying this because God is telling me to say that. And people who left our church. And before coming to our church, Who were mentally ill who now suffer from、uh, their disease again. I believe that by staying in church, or rather, the church has a power to stop these diseases. To come back. So, this is what I usually do. I don't mention it so often, but when somebody is seriously ill, I make this person to dedicate his or her life to the Lord. And、uh, most of the time they get healed. But once they are healed, they leave church. And after a while, And after a while, they become ill again. And quite, and quite a few of them died of it. Well, the disease is not limited to mental disease. Well, of course, if a person leaves this church according to God's will, such things will not happen. But in any case, God's calling is given to a church. So if it is not God's will, For a certain person to leave church, this person will leave his calling, which is given to the church. Well, let's take、uh, let's take、uh, Sister Sally as an example. When she left church, she suffered a lot. She went through a painful time. But she came back. And now, look at what God does through her.
our book, our book on prophecy is ready to be published in the Czech language. And she's been appearing on radio programs. All these things did not happen by chance. So the church is very important for you and for us. Well, I was forced to write articles on uh, healing. When I was forced to proofread uh, my text on healing, I didn't want to do that. But uh, God made me read, uh, proofread the text. I didn't want to do that, but I was forced to do that by God. I read up till the fifth chapter. Then I was reminded of the time when I was sick. I was badly ill ever since for 30 years. I've never been ill except for about a week when I needed to stay in bed. But that was the only time when I was taken ill. I've been healthy ever since. God gave me good health. Because I live in the grace of this church. So I repeat again, if it is God's will for you to leave this church, it is all right. But if God's will for you is to stay in this church and yet leave it, then you will lose God's grace. I'm not trying to threaten you. I'm talking about the fact some people who left this church died. Talking about the online services, if you attend our worship service online, it is good. But uh, you cannot uh, work for God in our church. And working for God is blessing, is blessings. And because I work for God, I've been blessed. And because I've been working for God for the past 24 years, I don't even catch cold. So, it may be. So, uh, please pray. To see if it is God's will for you to take part in God's work in our church. 
We do not have enough staff members for the work of the internet. I, I say it again. The church is a place where God's grace abounds. Going to church and staying in it. This is the point to receive God's blessings. Well, of course, we need to pray. We need to read the Bible. We need to attend. We we need to do various things to be built up spiritually. But the point is to come to church and stay in it. There is a special grace. There is special grace of God there. Now let's. Oh, and uh, one last thing. A camp will be held in Hakuba. If you think it is impossible for you to come to the camp, please pray. Because there at the camp, the special grace of God, some spiritual things have started to be opened. Uh, there's also a Christian film festival. God has been using uh, videos and uh, images for his purposes in a great manner. Many people, many people have been impressed by the aerial image. And at the same time, the background music. Has become quite popular in our church. So, all the, the image and the music go together. When we try to sell songs, quite often they air songs with the images. And other things. So, uh, talking about music, being good at singing is not enough. We need images to go with the songs. When I got short footages of each overseas mission team, and together with it, we use some songs. And uh, those songs become quite popular. Because uh, they are influenced by the images, by the videos. It is like the images are like clothing. I don't care much about clothing. But, uh, I now realize that uh, clothing is important. Images are important. The image has great power. If 
you want to become a praising band, if you want to become a member of God's praising band, please think about the image. Use the image as a weapon, as a tool. Uh, John, talking about healing, in the Bible, there are many people who receive healing from Jesus, but they are the ones who came to Jesus to be prayed for. So, you need to go to church. You need to go to the place where that work is. So, if you're, what, if you're attending this service online, over the internet, and wish to take part in the work of God, Please get in touch with us. And uh, a mission team will be sent to Los Angeles. This uh, mission team is called Praise, Thanksgiving, and Revival Team. It will be held in mid March. And there we learn that Thanksgiving is divided into two kinds of work. One is to give thanks, and the other is to praise God in songs. And God has started new things through our walk by faith regarding this camp. So please join us and step out by faith if you need to do so. And now let us look at today's scripture verse. Psalm 103 verses 3, 4, and 5. And verse 4, and crowns you with love and compassion. God gives us crowns. God gives us uh, love and compassion, although we are not we are not worthy. You and I are not worthy to stand before God. We are the ones who mustn't be in the presence of God. It is the truth. But because of God's love and compassion, and we're all alike, and in church, God gives us love and compassion to those who are unworthy of them. Well, the film, well, there's a film about Exodus, a pastor Asano in New York has already seen it, and he said in his blog that it wasn't quite biblical. But there, we see God's love and compassion to his people, although his people are unworthy. 
and Apostle Paul, he was uh, an elite. He voted for the killing of Stephen. When we went to Damascus, our people said that the, uh, a certain place was the place where Paul was hit by the Holy Spirit and fell. And said, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And he lost sight. I wonder what Paul thought about it. Well, Paul thought he was obeying God, and yet he was persecuting his people. And because of his persecution, God saints uh, got killed. What things have I done? Oh, he must have thought about that. When God made Paul face that fact in darkness, he was an elite and he was brilliant. And yet, God showed him that he was worthless and he was doomed to destruction. If you think you are unworthy, that is the best thing for you. And uh, as for Paul, he repented. He repented. And in order to become a vessel of God, he went to see Barnabas. In the Bible, it, sa it says that uh, people, people didn't want to accept him. Because Paul was responsible for the death of uh, his God's saints. <laughs> what, uh, what they have thought when he saw Paul. Because of him, my relatives, my children, my husband died. But in spite of that, Paul remained in guard. In spite of this rejection, Paul remained in guard. He realized that he was unworthy. And yet, he obeyed God. He received a lot of passion. In the Bible, there isn't a book. In the Bible, it doesn't, the Bible doesn't talk much about it, but it must have been severe. Uh, 
As I said, we are worthless. We are very bad. But injured, if you receive blessings, you repent and obey God. Paul repented and obeyed God. He was the worst kind of people, and yet he repented and obeyed God thoroughly. And that's why he was used by God. And Peter. Now is a turn. Talk about Peter. Well, he said, even if all the others betray you, I will not betray you to Jesus. He was uh, Jesus' number one. But when Jesus was arrested, well, uh, when Jesus was surrounded by, the, uh, by his enemies, he, tri he tried to fight with a sword. But when Jesus he told him not to use a sword, he fled from that sight. And John fled too. They all wanted to save themselves. They didn't want to be arrested together with Jesus. I don't think they didn't think they did not want to be arrested. They just wanted to flee from that side. And after that, Peter denied Jesus. Well, who has such kind of uh, experience? Maybe there are several among you who have the same kind of experience. Peter must have thought, what kind of person I was? Well, the Bible doesn't talk about the women fleeing from that site. Quite a few women, I believe, remained, and yet most men fleed, escaped from that site. And yet, they were the disciples of Jesus. They had been trained by him. Peter didn't know that he was unworthy. He was doomed to destruction. At, uh, at that time, when Peter denied Jesus, he realized how unworthy he was. He realized that he repented. And 50 days later, he became a vessel of God for revival. Well, if you were a seminary student, I'm quite sure you're told to resume your school. If I were a headmaster of a seminary, I would tell those people to resume the learning once again. But Peter when he re realized that he was unworthy, repented and obeyed God and became a vessel of the Lord in revival, which followed. 
信仰を与えなされる、ね、そして、えー、きちっとした悔い改めそれになされている。So, if you realize that you are unworthy, that is the starting point. Please repent and obey God. David is also a good example. He wrote quite a few poems of Psalm. He praised God in song and in dance. <laughs> well, his wife despised him when she saw him dance. It must have been a dance which wasn't quite so beautiful. He was a sinner, and yet he repented and he became a vessel of the Lord. These people used their faith, they repented. They gave thanks for all things and praised God. You will find God's grace and blessings in it. Peter fled when Jesus was arrested. Paul persecuted God's saints. What kind of treatment? Or how? Do you think people treated them not in a pleasant way? I'm quite sure, but they repented and obeyed God. They exercised their faith. They gave thanks to the Lord and praised Him. In the, in the, even in the time of the Old Testament, people praised God, and gave thanks to Him. Let us pray. Well, God has given you faith. Speak that out. God is telling to this person. Somebody has made some kind of somebody made a mistake, a certain mistake, and uh, this person has been uh, this uh, mistake has been annoying a certain person. God tells this person to give thanks for that, and then uh, a solution to that problem will come. Well, a certain person does not uh, cannot discern things, discern spiritual things. This person tends to accept almost many things which are not from God. Ask of God and pray to Him. Now, let us pray for our own healing. First of all, let us uh, repent our sins. Uh, 
please pray for your own healing. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of healing, leave each one of us. And in the name of Jesus, each one of us be healed, be healed, be healed in the spirit and in body and the flesh. Somebody had a nose problem. This person is, uh, has been healed of it. Uh, and uh, someone has been, uh, somebody has been uh, suffering from insomnia. But this person has been freed from it. Somebody had a gut pain. It has been healed. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Please stand up. Let us sing hallelujah together. Please be seated. Well, there are some announcements to be made. What? What, what today, Reverend Arai will come and hold a seminar on Sunergoi. It will start at 8 o'clock. And uh, a mission team to a mission team to Los Angeles. And uh, holy meetings will be held in the Hokuriku region. And the Hakuba camp will be held in mid February. A missionary Ruth went back to Cambodia last week. The Hakuba camp. The Hakuba Snerugoi camp will be held uh, from the 16th through the 18th of February. Please fill in the form. Please fill in the application form and send it to us. Well, uh, there will be a bus service between uh, the Tokyo Antioch Church and the Hakuba camp site. On the 25th of January, uh, a pre Hakuba gospel contest uh, selection uh, will be held at the Tokyo Antioch Church. A new issue of uh, Kumonichi has appeared. 